This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Oh, I tell you what, two of the heavyweights of television in the studio at the moment. Two of the most powerful people in the industry. <laughs> Sandra <laughs> Sully, Peter Overton. Wow. Wow. Oh, look. News heavyweights. I mean, what a, what an introduction. I did think it was a bit much when you strutted in this morning, Peter, looking like Travis Kelsey arriving at the Super Bowl that, that yesterday. That was a bit in much. In the sparkly does that outfit. Mean, does the, that mean? Does that mean? You're, well, yes, you're Taylor I, Swift. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the Chiefs <laughs> jersey was so yesterday. <laughs> have you guys worked together before? You must have at some stage. No. Everybody? Oh, well, yeah, the flood. Yes. Flood. Uh, I think telethons and, and... Side by side. Yeah. yeah. But I've known Sandra a very long time. So in your early journo days? Not not in the same workplace. Right, okay. No, I've been at 9, 34 years. You've been at 10. About the same. So there you go. That's extraordinary, oh, isn't it? But we did meet at the, the old Oaks at Neutral Bay about oh, we 36 years. Ago. When you could cook your own steak. Yeah. Don't do you remember you the meeting? Do, I do, Sandra. It was in yeah. the beer garden. It was. Under the oak tree. Oh, oh, oh. And yeah, what we, we were budding young journos just... That's right. I remember you said something very funny. What was oh, it? Oh, what did I? You described the Channel 10 News as the five o'clock feed. Well, that's <laughs> what we were told you called us. Never. No. Oh, were you two yeah. flirting on that day? No. no. Oh. oh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Sandra Sully, television royalty, oh, talking no. to me. Oh, oh please. Really? No, no, but what about rivalries? Now, I know you guys, well, you are two of the most loveliest guests that we've ever had on this show. But, you know, over the years, God, it's it's like a rivalry between a sporting team. There's, between networks, there's been huge rivalries. Have you, you guys seen that or witnessed that? Well, I think there's definitely competition. Of course yep, there is yep. between 10, 7... And nine in the commercial space. But for me, I don't have a rivalry with Sandra or any of my mm, colleagues mm. because we work in unique positions that come with high pressure, like you guys, are ratings driven. And I respect what you do, and I would imagine Sandra respects what I do. Yeah, and I think we see each other as colleagues, even yeah, if we work for rival networks. The yeah. rivalry's at a network level, but it's not where we're at. We're at. But can I tell you a, yeah. a secret? Go Pete, on. And I, Pete and I go way back, and Jess. Yes. We share a very special connection. Oh, we do. What yes. is it? Christina. Yeah, it's not a love child. Who's Christina? <laughs> it's not a love child. She's this beautiful, beautiful woman who, for Sandra and for Jessica, I think been our, our cleaner for 30 years. 30 plus years. No way! Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. This is awesome. yeah. yeah. And can I also tell you, yeah. uh, up until very recently, she also did Barthy and Jim Wilson's house. No way. Oh my yeah. goodness. So when Barthy and Jim were on seven, Pete, of course, is on nine, I'm on ten. Awesome. And Christina knows everything. She'd have all oh, the goss. Can she you could imagine write a book. the book? Yeah, I know. You're the two most professional on, on the television as well. Um, it can, you know, sometimes it's hard, though, because you can lose it. Um, Sandra, recently in a podcast, you were asked about your most embarrassing live TV moment. Awesome. And it had to do with a, with a kangaroo. Can <laughs> I show Can I show the guys the clip? Oh, we found the clip, Sandra. <laughs> of course you have. And I don't know if we've got the audio, <laughs> Jess. This is you with Brad McEwen, the great Brad McEwen. But, it um, was have a set up, I might add. Uh, and he played a clip of a kangaroo on a golf course. Now, the kangaroo, this is where it was funny, because the kangaroo was, well, it was playing with its tackle and it set you right off. Would you want to get close to an animal that just finished doing this? Uh, yep, they're still there. <laughs> the news on the national weather, yes, here we go. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy in Cairns and 32 or possible. But the storm in Brisbane. I don't think I'll forgive you. Oh but are you saying they didn't play that one to No, they hid it day. from me till the, till the very minute. Oh, so that kangaroo did. was going to town on itself. And that back in the day, you weren't allowed to lose it on live telly. We had straight jackets on. Now you can be <laughs> a little bit more relaxed. But <laughs> it was very late hey. at night and, you know, oh, it was a set. good. That is good. Have you had a moment funny. like that, Pete, where you've lost <laughs> it laughing on I air, have, or? and I remember I was a very young sports reporter and I was reading the sport with the late, great Ian Ross at Channel 9 and Roscoe was doing what we call a voiceover and it was to England now and the moment an undertaker found that his customer was actually alive yes. and then the sound came up and the undertaker said so I looked at my mate Gary and I said I think he's breathing <laughs> and Gary said he is breathing <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, anyway, I got the giggles because it was the funniest thing. And Roscoe was just holding it together, and then he had to throw to me sports next with with Peter Overton, and uh, and I just lost it. Lost. But I thought that was career ending yeah. because yeah. back in the day, you really, weren't allowed to do you, it. You know, you had to keep it nice and straight. Oh. And, I, I think what you feel about news readers, though. I, I mean, I was at the. At, the gym the other day and I saw Ann Sanders on the screen and I grew up watching her mm. of course at Channel 7 with yeah. Ann Sanders and Roger Clemson and that even just seeing them and and you guys as well it somehow makes you feel safe you trust oh. you. Yeah, it does I know that's a very big call I think that's the thing about does news it's about trust sense? and exp- sense? yes totally emotional and, well yeah. it's not the sensationalism as well you know you guys give us the news that it's happening we, you're not looking for clickbait or anything like that it's just the news as it happens and we would never try to take advantage of no you way. two <laughs> respected no journalists <laughs> standing and by that's, <laughs> and, that's why, and that's why we're about to do headline off next this, this is the first time we've done this, actually. I like it's it. net- network versus network. Channel 10 versus Channel 9. Peter Overton versus Sandra Sully. Don't go anywhere. It's the headline off next. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. Two hosts sent. Breaking news. Breaking news. Only one leaves. In this special report, it's Fitzy, Whipper and Kate Richie's headline off. All, all right, right, here we, here go, we go, guys. This is big. Um, all right, Sandra, you can go first on this one. And I know you both have done headline off against Matty DeGroote over the years, but he's gone. You are headlining off against each other today. This is who is going to who is going to triumph here as the network on top. Yeah. Kate, you're our judge. Oh, no, I, I don't want to be the judge. <laughs> you are the judge. Kate. I don't you are judge. I can slip you a quick 50. Oh, oh. No, Kate. Oh, You've always so been funny. a dear friend, Kate. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we give you a topical story. You've got to give us your best headline. Sandra, your first one is French village bans people scrolling on their phones while in public places. French village. Mm. They ban people on their phones while in public places. Best headline. This is Nova. No TikTok here, no Instagram there. If you want to take my phone, you can kiss my derriere. Oh! Oh, 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 la la. (laughs) A little bit of culture in it. Very good, Sandra. I haven't heard derriere for ages. Good reference. All right, Pete, give us your best headline. This is Nova. Sure, you can French kiss your phone goodbye, but if I can't watch those hooligans on kook slams, what's the point of being alive? Oh! oh. Kook slams gets a shout-out. I didn't even headline. know what that is. Kook is a me on Instagram page of people falling over. Oh, yes. of course. Kook slams, very popular page. OK, we need a winner oh. out of that round, round Kate. one. Well, I just, I, I mean, Derriere just rolled off Derriere. that tongue, did it not? Sandra, Sandra. Sully, you've got round one. Sandra Sully. Bang. Just All right, like Pete, you're, Pete, you're going first here. Topical story number two. Ham and cheese toast is banned at all schools in WA. What? Ham and cheese toast is banned at all schools in WA. Best headline, Pete. This is Nova. Banning toasters sure is a cruel blow, but if you need something incredibly cheesy, just listen to this show. Oh, oh, that's oh, just... I saw that. Doesn't coming. get my vote. Let's not get my vote at all. At all. You're the best in this tree, okay? Oh, no. Come on, Pete. You've got to win this okay. fair and square. Here we Back go. it up. This is to win, Sandra Sully. No pressure. This is Nova. Banning the ham is what they're doing in the West, but isn't that what you did when your traffic pig left? Oh! <laughs> We did farewell Matt to group. He's taken off to the UK. Little piggy got out of here. Yeah, but he's not here to defend himself, so no, I have not. to I have to go with Pete that time. Oh, oh. <laughs> not predictable at all. <laughs> 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 Cut that bit out, Tom. Can't Cut see that. We're out of time, bro. Yeah, who knew? Do we win anything? Oh, big time. Yeah. So. Sandra, you're going first here. Last story. <laughs> dog owners declare love for pooches more than their partners. So dog owners declaring <laughs> their love for their dogs more than their partners. Best headline. This is Nova. If you're in love with your pet, don't worry about disease. But if you lay down with dogs, you're bound to catch whip fleas. Oh! That's that not clever. That's not clever. It, that it, it would be an, <laughs> it would be an honour to lie down with Whipfly. I would have thought <laughs> an Please. absolute honour. Oh, that man. Pete, that's going to be tough. Good okay, luck, Pete. No, I think she's got it already. Come on, Sandra. This is Nova. 
Roses are red, violets are prettier, but if you really want to kiss a dog, just make out with Whipper. Oh! 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 Why am I getting beaten up in round three? <laughs> These... That's not fair. Hey, okay, Richie, what are you going to do? Cut. Pete, you know that was a weak entry. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to go with Sandra. Oh, Sandra. Sandra. Oh. Sandra. Oh. I like the cake. Only, only because you wrote it yourself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> A win for Channel 10. My we God. love you both. We Thank do. you so much. Over 30 years in the industry and they still come in here and have a laugh. We love them. Sandra, Pete, thank you very much for coming on the show today. Thanks, Fitzy Whipper, Kate. Yeah. Wonderful. And Sandra. Thanks, guys. Nice person. Good All to right. see you. See you under the oak tree. <laughs> <laughs> Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.